Hello, my name is Ademir Tayasiri and I'd like to welcome in another Boeing 737 video tutorial. In this video, I'd like to talk about rudder trim application in a single engine operation. And before talking uh, about that, let's just talk about V1 cut. So you are, oh, the airplane is rolling down the runway and then V1, you got the engine failure and then you hit rotate. Remember, you don't have to rotate immediately if you have an engine failure at V1. Make sure that you maintain the airplane under control on the runway and then once you get it under control you can start rotating slowly so slower than usual actually half of the usual rate uh, for the rotation but in all cases make sure that you do the rotation under control don't rush it how much rudder application you need if you fly a 700 a point seven three seven seven hundred full rudder application is what you need for the 800 slightly less than full rudder application is all you need and then for the rotation after the rotation positive rate gear up you are trying to maintain the airplane control you can ask the other pilot to trim the airplane for you and the uh, sweet spot for the rudder trim uh, is between four and six units so five plus or minus one unit uh, is what you need initially you might need to apply some manual rudder as well to maintain uh, the uh, coordination of the airplane uh, so feel free to do that, but to reduce the workload on yourself Just go to five units initially and then if you need to apply some manual rudder then by all means do that uh, Usually in level flight, this is all you need five to six as I said or four to six And here's the thing let's say you are, you did, you, you are done with the uh, with the non-normal checklist and then you are now on the radar vectors for an ILS approach and the instructor told you to descend let's say from 4,000 to 2,000 feet what I do my personal technique is to go level change but instead of going to either thrust immediately I reduce the thrust by 5% or 10% in one and engage and my target sync rate for the airplane is 500 feet per minute so this is my target with the single engine is 500 feet per minute so I don't go to either thrust and now as I approach my uh, level off altitude 500 feet before level off I start increasing the thrust slowly to reduce my the airplane sink rate to 200 feet per minute or 100 feet per minute usually and then at level off again uh, you increase the thrust as much as you need to maintain the speed use the uh, the uh, speed vector on the speed tape to help you on how much thrust that you need to apply and another good point here to remember with your simulator training those thrust setting for a single engine are constant since the simulator is like a big computer so remember the uh, n1 thrust setting for clean uh, airplane with a single engine and remember the thrust setting for uh, the approach that is with gear down flaps 15 and 800 feet per minute sync rate those two settings will help you a lot to have a reference after you do a correction or if you are as I said doing a descent and then you are leveling off so you know initially at least what is the, uh, the thrust setting that you need another point if you do a turn with a single engine or with the autopilot engaged you might need to apply some rudder to uh, maintain the direction control of the airplane and here's the point now if you transfer the controls to the other pilot the other pilot might not be aware that you have some manual rudder input with the autopilot so before you do the uh, flight control transfer advise the other pilot that you have some manual rudder application and the opposite is true and it is more important if you are the pilot monitoring and the other pilot is transferring the controls to you before accepting the flight controls put your feet on the rudder um, on that position and once the pilot flying releases uh, his or her feet off the rudder then if there is any manual application by the other pilot you'll feel it immediately and you'll be able to maintain that application that will result in the smoothest transition of the flight controls if you are doing a single engine in a turn so i avoid adjusting the uh, rudder trim as much as possible and again if i'm doing a turn or the airplane is doing a turn i'll do a manual rudder application until the turn is completed then i release that rudder uh, input so the uh, the rudder trim I use it mainly for 
the approach with the gear down flap 15 and that is where the time where I need to put the rudder setting to uh, neutralize the rudder or for me to, uh, to uh, not to have any rudder manual rudder application but what rudder setting do you do once you uh, set the uh, the correct thrust for the approach is the time that you adjust the rudder if you are doing a correction then forget about the rudder to a manual because you know that you return back to your reference thrust setting and then the airplane will need to go back to the reference uh, rudder application as well so again just put it to five to six units whatever and then forget about the rudder if you need a manual application do it if the manual application is there all the like more than two minutes on the approach then for sure you might need to uh, adjust the uh, the, uh, the rudder trim as well the most rudder application that you need in the airplane in the phases as follow well, this is with the highest rudder application on the go around since the uh, thrust on the operating engine is at maximum so go around is the highest followed by takeoff then on the uh, normal climb and on the descent is the least amount of rudder that you need to apply so i hope that this video would be of some benefit to you uh, as always remember that anything mentioned in this video or this channel in general is intended as for information only and if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know i'll be more than happy to answer them if i can some of the questions that i've been receiving are a little bit tough but i'm uh, still trying to find the answer for and i'll share the answer as soon as i have them uh, don't forget to leave a comment uh, let me know what you think and if you have any tips or techniques for the rudder term usage or application with a single engine please let me know until uh, next time, this is Abdul Matiasiri. Wish you safe flying and smooth landing. Thank you for watching.